In today's video we're talking about a neuron. So a neuron is also known as a nerve cell and they're responsible for receiving, conducting, preserving and transferring information. And this information comes from either inside the body or outside the body, but they're responsible for transferring this information to the brain and also from the brain to other parts of the body. So they're actually electrically excitable cells and they transfer all this information through electrical signals and chemical signals. So this diagram here on the left shows you what a neuron or a nerve cell actually looks like. This part here is known as the soma, so you can consider it as the head of the nerve cell or the neuron. These are known as dendrites, which are like tree-like branches, and these are responsible for transferring the electrical impulse to other neurons via a synapse which we're going to talk about shortly. This is the axon, which is also known as like the cell body. So those are the main parts of a neuron. So we have the dendrites, these tree-like extensions, the soma, which is like the head, and the axon, which is like the body. So we can also classify neurons based on their type, so based on their form and size, based on their structure, and based on their function. So there are different forms and sizes of neurons, and they basically have different shapes. So we have pyramidal, horizontal, granular, polymorphic, and star-like. When we're classifying neurons based on their structure, they can either be unipolar, multipolar, or bipolar. So unipolar neurons, they're basically sensory, and they just consist of the axon and the dendrite. Multipolar neurons are usually motor neurons and they have quite a few processes so they have one axon and several dendrites. We also have bipolar neurons which are spherical in shape and they have one axon and one dendrite and they're usually located in the eyes of the retina. And finally when we're classifying neurons based on their function they can either be afferent so they're usually sensory and they are heading upwards towards the brain or the spinal cord efferent, so they're motor, and they're heading from either the brain or the spinal cord to a muscle or an organ. And we also have interneuron as well, which is the connection between afferent and efferent neurons. So what's contained inside a neuron or a nerve cell is very similar to other cells. So the soma will have a nucleus, a cytoplasm. Uh, the, the difference is they contain something called nissel bodies, which are like aggregations of rough endoplasmic reticulum. Their function is to make proteins, but they're also useful in staining neurons. Uh, there's also ribosomes and the other organelles that you'll see in a typical of an animal cell. But yeah, so that's all I'm going to discuss in this video. I'm going to make some separate videos on how the nerve impulse is going to be transmitted along this axon and how a nerve impulse is transmitted from this neuron to another neuron via a synapse.